Hey fellas, Meat Trapper here. As you can see, it is a hot summer day, and now is the time when you need to be getting your traps and your snares ready for the coming winter season. And if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I love snares. You know that I always uh, treat my snares. I uh, have been a big fan of Formula One uh, trap dip, uh, snare dip. The Formula One is good stuff. It comes in three colors. It comes in uh, black, brown, and white, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. And what you do is you would dip your snares in it, uh, let it run off, and let it dry. And it would dry with sort of a, a plasticky film over uh, the top of your snares. And what that plasticky film did was uh, it kept the corrosion out, uh, it slicked up your snares a little bit, uh, gave them a little bit of color. But it did have problems. It would clump up on you. Um, and you would have to work the snares back and forth and rip off any of the clumps that formed. Uh, so it was not, it was not a one-time deal. But uh, Mr. Brian McKee of SouthernSnares.com has introduced a new line of trapping gear. And this new line of performance trapping gear is something really special. Because let's be honest, if you go out and you get five different trap supply catalogs and you open them up, with just a few minor exceptions, you're going to be looking at the same traps, the same lures, the same baits, at pretty much the same prices. There's not a whole lot of innovation that's been going on. And Brian is now the owner of SouthernSnares.com, uh, ThompsonSnares.com, and Sleepy Creek Traps. And now he's introduced a new line of gear, the performance trapping gear. And what this is, this these are new products. It's not going to be just the same old, same old. It's good stuff, and one of the first products that he's introduced under this line is a new trap and snare dip called Bulletproof. And I have been testing uh, the Bulletproof uh, dip, and I can promise you I will not be going back to Formula One or any other plasticky type dip. The Bulletproof dip can be used on your conibears, your footholds, and your snares. And what this dip is, it's a colorless sealant type of dip. Now, what that means is you can now paint your traps any color that you want. If you want them green, paint them green. If you want them brown, brown, whatever color you want. Same way with your snares. If you want them dusted green, if you want them dusted uh, camouflage, you know, you can use your spray paint and dust them. And then you dip them in the bulletproof dip, and it will seal them up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of uh, these snares. Now the first one that I've got here is a snare that I've not put any paint or any color on. It's just uh, a raw snare that I dipped in the bulletproof dip. You'll notice it, it's, uh, it's colorless, it's odorless, and this stuff dries amazingly hard. To me, the best thing is, is there's two things about this. Number one, there's no lumps or clumps that are left behind. That to me is huge. There's nothing to clog up the locks on your snare. You can, I'll take some close-ups of this, but this stuff dries without any clumping, so, so that's good. And number two, it makes your snares fire amazingly fast. I mean, you can see this thing is like, it's like greased lightning. It's so fast. Now this is 7x7 seven seven cable. I want you to take a look at this. Now this is a heavy-duty hog snare. This is one eighth inch seven by seven cable right here. Let me get it uncoiled for you. You can see it's got the big heavy duty swivel on it. It's got the cam lock and this is the big heavy eighth inch cable. Now what I did is I spray painted this brown and then I dipped it in um, the bulletproof dip to seal it up. And once again, there's nothing on here that clogs this stuff up and this fires unbelievably fast. I mean, this is a rough seven by seven cable. That's one of the disadvantages and the reasons that I've never really used a lot of seven by seven is that the cable is very rough and uh, it has a lot of friction on it, but this bulletproof dip takes that friction away. I mean, that's lightning fast for such a big, heavy cable. So let's head back to the house and let's take a look at some of this. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks like milk when you pour it out of the jug. Uh, you dip your snares in them, hang them up, let it dry overnight, and you're good to go. So let's take a look. 
All right, this is, uh, this is really a pretty simple process we're going to do here. We're simply going to take uh, a container. Now, you can use a five-gallon bucket um, depending upon how many snares you're doing um, and how much dip you're going to need. Or if you're doing traps, you're going to need a bigger container. But for snares, I like to use something nice and flat like this. And so you just, uh, just pour the dip in, and you can see it's got a milky color to it nice hot day so this is going to dry quickly now the next thing is you take your snare and this is just a small game snare you want to uh, uncoil it you want to make sure that, that it's uncoiled and then all you're going to do is drop it in shake it off and then we're going to hang it up I'll show you that in just a second. Now I want you to see how easy that runs off of that snare. See, that's why there's there's not going to be any buildup or uh, clumping on that. See, that runs right off. Now what I like to do is just hang that on the fence. Down like that. What you're going to get is the dip is going to run off down this side and on the other side this is what it looks like on the loop side once again that's going to drip off and it's not going to leave any clumps and then I just go down the fence and uh, and hang my snares up okay so you've got your snares dipped and now they're all dry and everything they're really uh, really fast firing but the question then becomes is this stuff any good and how do you know if it's any good? What kind of protection is it going to give your snares and traps? And how can we find out? Well, the first thing that I wanted to do was do an acid test. Now, what that is, is I use a 50-50 mixture of vinegar and water. Uh, that's what I use to eat through uh, any of the gunk that I have on old traps and, and all that. So I took two pieces of cable. One was a piece of cable that I dipped in bulletproof. One was a piece of cable that was untreated right off the uh, spool that still had all of the oil and lubricant still on it. I put each piece of cable in the vinegar oil bath and left them in there for 24 hours. Then I poured everything out, let it sit outside in the grass, and came back the next day. And you can see that the untreated cable, the vinegar, had an effect on it. You can see it's all darkened up. It's gotten black. And that's because it's oxidizing and that acid is eating the cable. You can also see that the other piece of cable that was dipped in bulletproof is unaffected. There's, there's no discoloration on that piece of cable at all. So that tells me that the bulletproof dip was able to protect that cable in an acid solution. Now the next thing that um, I get asked a lot is does this stuff turn white in water? And the reason that people ask that is there's a, another competing brand out there that dries clear, but it's only for land use only. If you put the uh, trap or the snare in water, it's going to turn a milky white color. So the next thing that I did was I took a snare that I had dipped a single time in Bulletproof, and I put it in a little plastic container of water, and I left it in the water fully submerged for one week. And at the end of one week, there was no white discoloration. Now, does that mean that it will never turn white? I can't say. All I can say is, is that when I'm snaring, and I'm snaring in the water, usually my snares are only 50% in the water and 50% out of the water. And they're only in the water for a day or three before they get pulled or they make a catch. So this is leaving the thing completely submerged for a week with no discoloration. So anyway, I think the results speak for themselves, and personally, I'm going to be using Bulletproof this season. Uh, I am very impressed by the, um, the slick, fast-firing finish that it leaves. I'm impressed by the fact that it does not clump. You know, it doesn't clump up, so I don't have to work the, sna uh, the, the snare through the, the cable through the lock over and over to knock the clumps off. I'm impressed by the fact that I can put any color that I want to on my snares and then seal them up. And it's just um, a very quick and easy thing to do and I like it a lot better than the colored dips.
So anyway, I hope this was useful. If you're interested in checking it out, go to southernsnares.com, look for bulletproof. And if you're in, uh, if you're treating uh, steel traps that have already been dyed, dipped, painted, or what have you, you can use the Battleborn Trap Cleaner. It's a powder. You pour the powder in um, uh, boiling water and then boil your traps, and it removes all the uh, paint and the gunk. And it's very safe. It's not a caustic solution. It's not an acid solution, so it's very safe to use, and I am, I am really liked using it. So anyway, hope this is useful, and we'll see y'all next time.